show some other performance work that we've done recently. Um, the performance work today is related to moving average and cumulative sum. Um, the moving average one is currently merged. The cumulative sum one is currently in review. Um, both of these are behind feature flags and should be released with the next version of Flux, so they are not currently in production, um, but they will end up in production after join, and then we will start enabling the feature flag um, after the review is complete and they're merged and the release happens. Um, so moving average and cumulative sum are um, important transformations that are used um, decently frequently, and they are also uh, a little bit more unique than some of the other aggregates, and that similar to derivative and difference, they produce a lot of data. Um, because even when they, are, they have an input, they don't produce a single point, they produce a lot of points. And so this um, particular um, method of evaluating like stuff can sometimes cause the query engine a little bit of difficulty with their current implementations. So this change was made in order to make it so that that wasn't the case anymore, um, to make these functions more viable for larger amounts of data. Um, so that you could do something like moving average on a large amount of data. And then you could also go and like do something like sum afterwards. In this case, I'm using debug.sync to just discard the data um, to show the performance change rather than showing how long it takes to print to the terminal. Um, so these are both of the queries. We are going to process 50,000 points per series and we're having a, a cardinality of 50, um, 10 in T0 and 5 in T1. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show um, how these perform. So if I look at do, use moving average and I use time and I run it, we can see that that query that I just wrote um, took about a second. And if I do the same with cumulative sum, it's faster, but it's still like 324 milliseconds. So um, about a third of a second. Um, when I go and I enable the feature flag, I'm enabling the feature flag for both of them just to make this faster, um, but obviously only one of them is going to be relevant per query. So when I do it for moving average, you see that returns a whole lot faster. Now we are down to about 160 milliseconds instead of the almost second that we had previously. And this isn't very hard cardinality data and 50,000 points isn't really that much. Um, and then when we do cumulative sum, we also see um, a similar improvement where now it's 146 milliseconds instead of the 324 milliseconds. Um, cumulative sum wasn't nearly as bad as moving average, but we could still see that there was a lot of room for improvement that um, we're able to get. And hopefully this goes and creates a better um, query experience for people who are using these functions. Uh, thank you and uh, have a nice day.